Hello, today I'm out with my 10 year old daughter. We're just going to be talking about amateur radio from a, a perspective of a, of a young person. So this should be fun. focused aren't we yeah that's looking good okay so I've been thinking if I if I ask you a few questions and you answer them honestly and then take it from there okay so the first question is and <clears throat> what inside the bottom of your school bag there's two items that you take to school that you play with on the playground with some of your friends we've used them on a holiday lots of times and they make a Beep noise. Ah! Yeah, so you take the walkie talkies to school and you play with them. Are they fun? What, what games do you play with them? Um, we normally just hide from each other and then just. And we, we'll go in teams and I mean, each team has to give the other group clues. Uh, so one team has to give what the other team a clue yeah. of where they're hiding, yeah. but they can't like say it all. Ah, uh, okay. Find them. So, so you play a game where one hides with a radio and you give little clues and you'll have to find them. Mm -hmm. I think we're doing it wrong, uh, chaps. <laughs> I think this is uh, this is where it's at. Okay, uh, okay. Another question then. Yeah. Um, what's my call sign on the radio? I'll give you. I'll give you a starter. Uh, two. Well, I don't remember yours now, but yours used to be like Lima Zulu Tango. Yes, it used to be Mike Z six Lima, Lima Zulu, Zulu Tango. Tango. But now I'm two Echo Zero, Zero. Echo no. <laughs> Zulu Tango. It's hard to remember as you're saying yours. And yeah. Like trying to repeat everybody else, it's like confusing. There's a lot of lot of those, isn't there? And mm -hmm. okay, okay. Third question: mm -hmm. It's true or false? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, is it possible that I could talk to a um, a, a cosmonaut, a somebody in space on the radio? No, but you can like. I don't know. Yeah, well, the, an the answer the answer's true. Uh, you can use the radio to talk to people in space because they can use radio. If they've got a radio, same as yours, you can talk to people in space. Okay. Shall we, shall we have a cycle to the next yeah. bench okay. where the lock is? Okay. Look, there's a Looking, there's It's going well. I was thinking of how I think of radio, and it was like, and it's fun because you can connect with other people who have like the same hobby with you yes and it's confusing because you don't really and it's like well it's nice to like understand other people's like thing that they yes. say yes. for other people to know okay. them yeah, yeah. the two echo zero alpha delta <laughs> kilo lima 55 five nine is it is all a bit confusing yeah you could <laughs> say yeah yeah <laughs> Okay, so, um, do you know what? Do you know what STEM is? Science, technology, engineering, and we, maths? Well, at school we just call it science. Science, okay. Is, it, does, is science exciting? Is it okay or is it Sometimes, boring? Sometimes, 
when you get to like doing experiments. Doing experiments. So doing stuff sometimes better than just reading about yeah. it. Yeah. So do you think amateur radio is science? Okay. Because you can read about it. Yeah. Well, half yes, half no. Half yes, half no. Okay. So Sorry. if I explain that. Do you know with, with amateur radio you can either you can go and just buy all the equipment yourself for the shot and mm -hmm. plug it all in but you can also you can make up your own equipment and you can learn about how the space how the sun affects the the earth and and you can learn about space and yeah like a space you could count as science yeah and amateur radio is technically linked to space yeah so that's how it's Link to science. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, another question then. Uh, what would, would you say? Okay. Um, true. Oh, not true or false. Okay. Um, are there more men than women? Do you think that will be into amateur radio or about or about fifty fifty? Fifty fifty, because everybody everybody can have their own hobby. So it's open to everybody. Okay. But whenever I hear you talking, it's mainly men. It's mainly men, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So if, if you think about the hobby, do you think it's mainly a, 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 a man's hobby? Yeah, but no if I don't want to be rude. Okay, right. Yes, yeah, we don't, we don't want to be rude. No, no. Not no. So, my thinking is that the, the amateur radio hobby needs a makeover, needs branding, needs to be, needs to be made more exciting for young people so what what would make oh, what would make amateur radio more exciting for young people like for it to be introduced to young people more instead of it being uh, taught to like older people yeah okay the younger people okay getting younger people into it get, get them into it younger as well and I like the idea when it mentioned around um, playing the game and, and chasing each other with it as well I do like I do like that one yes okay so uh, and 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 also do you think this is just this is just my I guess it's just my reflection on it yeah. is is that like like I said earlier that you, you, you hear a lot of men's voices on the radio mm -hmm. and you see a lot of pictures of men Doing amateur radio, but never, having yeah, you know, have you not? Yeah, well, I guess you won't see as much. Yeah, but if well, you yeah, you can imagine yeah the children to go on like a school trip or something yeah to go to someone more experience with it. Oh, okay, and right. And to yeah. have like a session instead of like doing it at home and yeah. like talking with a stranger who oh, yeah, doesn't yeah, know yeah. you and who might think they've got their equipment wrong or something. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you like and subscribe. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, I hope you like the video. Uh, uh, okay, see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>